Despite seeming familiar, our planet remains a great mystery to all of us. Despite having explored virtually every corner of the Earth, much of it remains uncharted and unmapped. The reason for this enigma is hidden beneath the waters, as over 70% of the Earth's surface is composed of oceans. Humanity is far from unraveling the secrets of these depths, and underwater life is full of uncertainties. Scientists estimate that there are more than 2 million different species living in the oceans, with over 90% of them not even described by science. We live, therefore, surrounded by a sea of uncertainties, isolated in the unknown and immersed in our own ignorance about the world around us. When we walk along the beach and dive into its waters, we have no idea what lies beneath the surface. William Shakespeare claimed that there are more mysteries between heaven and earth than our vain philosophy can imagine. However, underwater, the oceans reveal themselves as true abysses, so deep that they awe us just to think about them. The fear of these depths has a name, thalassophobia. If you are thalassophobic, this video may contain triggers. But before we continue, please subscribe to the channel and give the video a like. The journey to the depths of the ocean. If you want to see the underwater world with your own eyes, entering the sea already brings an intriguing and curious revelation. At a depth of only two meters, you can no longer touch the bottom. The Professional Association of Diving Instructors establishes a maximum depth of 40 meters for recreational diving for safety reasons. Now, let's imagine a simulation. At 40 meters deep, the statue of Christ the Redeemer would be completely submerged. At 90 meters, the Statue of Liberty would disappear, and even at 100 meters, the sunlight still appears. But beyond that, darkness takes over. The world record for diving is just over 300 meters. Going deeper, we encounter the 400 meter range, where military submarines operate. At 500 meters deep, we plunge into total darkness, exploring the uncharted depths, the bathypelagic zone. Entering the so-called deep sea from 1,000 meters, we enter the bathypelagic zone. In this environment, bizarre animals emerge, such as the blobfish and the colossal squid. The darkness is intense, and the temperature hovers around 4 degrees Celsius. The extreme pressure, over 5,000 psi, is a challenge for underwater exploration. In this region, the tragedy of the submersible Titan occurred during an attempt to explore the wreckage of the Titanic. Descending further, we reach the abyssal zone, which extends from 6,000 meters to the Mariana Trench, the deepest point on Earth, with about 11,000 meters of depth. The name, abyssal, refers to the Greek god of the underworld. Here, explorers face not only darkness and cold, but also bizarre creatures such as the lanternfish Melanocetus johnson. Conquering the ocean depths. The exploration of marine depths dates back thousands of years with Archimedes' studies on buoyancy. In the 17th century, Cornelius Drebbel created the first submarine, a closed rowboat with an air pipe. Modern submarines powered by compressed air, diesel and nuclear energy emerged in the following centuries, influencing military strategies during the Cold War. Like the space race, the submarine race propelled ocean exploration. Notable advances occurred in the 1930s when William Beebe and Otis Barton reached a depth of 1,000 metres with a bathysphere. Filmmaker Jacques Cousteau in the 1940s developed the Aqualung, facilitating underwater filming. On January 23, 1960, Jacques Picard and Don Walsh made history by descending into the Mariana Trench with the Trieste submersible for four hours and 47 minutes. This achievement happened even before humans set foot on the moon. Later, in 2012, James Cameron, the director of Titanic, repeated the feat. However, access to the depths is still rare and more people have been to the moon than the ocean depths. Mapping the seafloor. Mapping the seafloor is a monumental challenge. Even maps of Mars have better resolution than maps of our own planet, especially regarding underwater reliefs. 
The irregular and mysterious ocean floor complicates the task. But variations in water height can reveal contours of the ocean bed. Detailed mapping of the seafloor is done by sonars, which emit signals and measure the return time to calculate the distance. However, precision is limited. Enter the CAD 2030 initiative, a global task force to map the submarine floor with greater accuracy by 2030. The project faces challenges, but since its inception in 2017, over 20% 20 of the seafloor has already been mapped. The fascinating unknown world. The seafloor is the final frontier for humanity on Earth. A truly unknown part, full of secrets that are gradually being revealed before our eyes. Despite fears, retreating from progress goes against the exploratory essence of human beings. Mapping the ocean depths is a step toward understanding our planetary home, a fascinating place where science and discovery intertwine. Thank you very much for joining us on this journey into the depths of the ocean. Until next time, when we will continue exploring the mysteries and wonders that our world still holds.